Hi guys, so I am home from work. I am working a lot this week and I feel like I just have had no time to kind of film other than my YouTube videos and I really feel like I'm letting you guys down but it's just the way that work is at the moment. I did, however, pick up a few bits after work today and I'll, I'll show you what I got. Like, it's nothing very exciting but it might be more interesting to show you what I actually got. This package arrived into my work actually the other day. It's from Hishi. Hishi are so, 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 so good to me. This I like, clearly did not buy, but it's the one hour rapid tan and I absolutely adore this tan. Now I haven't been wearing tan from Grand Canary and stuff, I still have a tan, but I will be using this I'm sure shortly because tan can't last forever. The other thing is the body sculpting gradual tan for him and for her. Maybe Jimmy might be interested in that. Ha, <laughs> joke. So this is a uh, light uh, self tanning for your body, which is great because it's buildable, I'm sure. So you apply it on and it gradually, gradually builds up. There is a little bit of a note on it. So it just says it's the new body sculpting gradual tan. It la launches er, in March 2016, so it's just launched. And now this package is delayed because they did send it to my home house and I wasn't there. So they sent it to my work, which was great because there's always somebody there in work, obviously. So these are all the kind of main things about it if you're interested. And then they sent me a mitt. So thank you so much, Hishi. I can't wait to start using these. Can't use Saint Tropez anymore. I can't use Saint Moritz. I'm finding it hard to use cocoa brown because of the the mousse formula whatever way they use it to make it a mousse it just irritates my skin but this is a liquid and it's amazing I went into boots and picked up these bits so nothing very exciting obviously deodorants very unexciting but this is my favorite scent ever I love this brand because it keeps it dry all day I'm not the sweatiest person however we do all sweat and I find that this is the best one at controlling it and then I went and bought the aftershave balm from Nivea I have tried this but it was in the blue packaging and it irritated the crap out of my skin so I'm trying the sensitive one just to see what it's like you're all kind of keen to see what my reaction to it is could I try it in a first impressions so I definitely will if you don't know this has now been raved about by Kylie Jenner. The OG of this is Nikki Tutorials and she introduced it. So the reason why this is so good as a primer is because of the glycerin in it. I'm dying to try it out. I hope it doesn't irritate me like the one in the blue packaging but it was highly scented so maybe that was why. The last thing that I got was my purple shampoo. The Lee Stafford one. This is what I use. You would have seen it in my hair care video. It is the be all and end all when it comes to purple shampoos. I found nothing that works as well as this. I was looking at Carissa Puka's um, is that how you say her name, Chris Apukas? I've watched her for years and years, Saturday Night's All Right, she used to be called. And I was looking at her latest video and she had an empties and she had a purple shampoo in it. And I really, really, really want to try that one out. I look like two-toned, like my face looks yellow and my body looks kind of like pink. I'm going to, this yoke is really heavy. This is the Ikea, what are they? Storage, little plastic storage things. I'm going to open them actually right now and fill a couple of things into them. I'm gonna put away some like loose ends that are hanging around in that box that's down below me. I'm gonna just do one more quick sort through it and dump whatever I have to dump. Leave stuff aside that maybe my mum might benefit from some like some mascaras that have never been opened that I'm never gonna get through. And maybe like Kira can come over and have a, a root if she wants anything. And then Ollie, whatever Ollie wants, I'll give to her. She's kind of a low key kind of girl. She's not mad into her like, lots and lots of makeup she's very minimal like what I'm wearing today would be something like my sister would wear and if there's any unopened products like I said I will be doing like a giveaway of them if I'm never going to use them sure why not give them to somebody who will use put up something on my snapchat yesterday about like foundations and primers and concealers and so many of you guys are asking me today more about foundations so I said I would do it in a vlog because obviously your story only lasts 24 hours and then it's gone am I like 
like sauce on my face and I'll kind of title the vlog like foundations, primers and concealer recommendations so if you ever want to find this vlog again that it'll be easy enough because I know how hard it is to find a good foundation and like I always 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 tell you guys I am oily combo, I don't know why I did that, I'm oily combo. Finding a foundation that stops my oils coming through is one of the most important things for me but also it doesn't like I don't always have to go for foundations that are for oily skin because I find some foundations that are for drier skin work on my skin amazingly. This is my foundation drawer. You're probably sick of looking at it at this stage. And then the primers are just kind of left here. I don't have a storage situation for them yet. And then I have my conce concealers, drugstore, and then high end. So the Match Perfect, the True Match, and the Fit Me would all be kind of sheer to medium covered. The EX1, the Lasting Finish, and the Infallible. I have two more here that I've never tried. A CC cream from L'Oreal and I've got a wet n wild one I think it is. Every foundation in this drawer I love so you can't go wrong with any of them but I will explain why I love more over others. So if you are looking for a sheer coverage foundation I highly recommend the L'Oreal True Match. It's like very sheer but buildable and that's what I love and if I was to recommend a sheer coverage foundation this would be the one. If I was to recommend a full coverage foundation it would be the L'Oreal Infallible or the Rimmel Lasting Finish. I absolutely adore the EX1 but it's more of a yellow tone foundation so if you pink undertones on your skin or you like a pink or more pink undertone foundation this is not going to be suitable for you. One thing I will say about the EX1 foundation you buy it on Feel Unique. I know a lot of people are going to ask about that so I'll link it down below. No matter whether I'm looking for a full coverage or a medium coverage foundation the one thing I do look for is long lasting and all of these are pretty long lasting. Okay now I'm going to move on to high end. Moving on to high end foundations just because it's high end or more expensive doesn't mean it's better. My favourite foundations for high full coverage foundation would be the Inglot HD, the MAC Studio Fluid and the Estee Lauder. The NARS is my all time favourite sheer foundation but it's definitely a buildable foundation. When I'm on holidays I always wear a BB cream and the one that I use is the Elizabeth Arden one, the Visible Difference. It's in the colour shade number two. Moving on to primer. If you have red undertones or pink undertones on your skin you want to neutralise them. The Stila one step correct is amazing. So if you've drier skin you want to add a little bit of luminosity back into your skin. I love the Lumi Magique base and I love the MAC strobe cream. It adds a bit of luminosity even though I have oily combo skin. This doesn't make me look oily or shiny. Two primers that I highly 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 recommend because I'm loving them as of late are the two Rimmel ones. Fix and Protect and the Lasting Finish. They're amazing but my all time favourite primer is the Nude Magique Blur Cream because it just blurs out my pores. It makes my foundation go on amazingly well and I absolutely adore Adore this. One thing I will say, even though I love all these primers, the only one that I'm not a key, not keen on is the baby skin. I just don't find that it does anything. I actually find it cakes up a little bit. So I'm going to give that to somebody else because it's basically kind of full. I've only used it about three or four times. Now I'm going to move on to concealers. These are all used for underneath my eye. I have my affordable ones and then my more high end ones. I mean, you don't have to spend a bomb on a concealer just for it to be good. I haven't used this one yet, so I'm going to put that one back there too. It's going into a first impressions video soon. My favourite one would be the Inglot one in number 95. That's that one under eye concealer and it's amazing at covering dark circles. And then I love my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm in Custard. I didn't have it in this drawer but the other concealer that I absolutely love is my MAC Pro Longwear and I'm in NW20 and I use this under my eye and it blends out like a dream. So they're the concealers that I highly recommend. I have a couple of Inglot ones, they're more of illuminator ones. For more affordable concealers my favourite ones are the True Match from L'Oreal. This is definitely been one of my all time favourite ones. The e.l.f. one's pretty good for full coverage as well and then my LA Girl Pro concealers are just amazing. You cannot go wrong with them. I use so many different colours like when people ask me what colour are you in the LA Girl Pro Conceals I can't answer that I'd say I have about 8 of them I've loads of shades depends on the particular day colouring the darker ones I use for cream contouring another concealer that I absolutely love from the drugstore would be the Last in Perfection from Collection and then the Fit Me Concealer which is very like the NARS one I use that one a lot as well so they're my favourite all time favourite concealers again I'd pass up on the Catrice one but do give it a try and let me know if you did like it also 
also the Wake Me Up Concealer from Rimmel is brilliant. I don't know where mine is currently. It's probably in my makeup bag because I used it not so long ago. Took off my top because I was boiling. I hope that helps you guys a little bit better. Like I said, just because I have oily combo skin doesn't mean that all those foundations are suitable for oily combo skin. It's just whatever suits you the best. And you know, it's trial and error. And I just find that those foundations keep my oils at bay for the longest period of time. Anything I don't like, I get rid of or I pass it on to someone else. What I look for from a, from a concealer is, see these bad boys, these dark circles? I look for something that will cover them up but not crease on me. So that's why all those concealers would be my favorite. And then a lot of people ask me, how do you stop from caking underneath your eye? Just use a little bit. I don't put that much underneath my eye. Just be kind of sensible with how much you're actually putting on. Like if you're trying to cover up dark circles and you don't want it to crease, don't use a thick concealer and don't pack it on underneath your eye. So I hope that helps. Finishing up editing for the night. I look a hot mess. And I decided while I am editing, I'm gonna try these little eye white, white teeth whitening things, these little plates that you put in your mouth. Something to do, I suppose, while I am doing this. I'm dying to see whether they actually make my teeth whiter. I showed this product on my vlog there a couple of weeks ago. That's just what the little sashes look like and that's what the little product itself look, looks like. I don't know if you can see that. The gel is in there. I have one of them in my mouth already. I'll show them now in a sec. I have one in the top of my teeth. I don't even know if I'm doing this right. Um, I look so sexy right now. <laughs> they look so weird. I'm gonna leave this in there for 20 minutes. I look like your man off something about Mary. Just 10 o'clock right now. I have to leave them on for 20 minutes. So I'm gonna just take these out now. It's been 20 minutes. <laughs> I don't know what's any difference yet. But apparently you have to use all of them before you can see a difference. Okay guys, I'm gonna go and actually brush my teeth. I have the eye white toothpaste. So I'm gonna use that now because I'm just done editing. I'm finished for the night, I've had enough. And I'm going to get into my bed. I am wrecked. I'm just done with all this editing. I hope you guys had a fantastic day. And I will talk to you all tomorrow. Bye guys.